Good afternoon beer buffs and the Texas Taff is back with you for a beer review on a it's a smash IPA and it's called Yellow Rose and it's from Lone Pint Brewing so let us get a pour on bit wet out here today the rains have been through again so uh, my seat was wet uh, but I put a double cushion on so I had an under cushion so I ain't got a wet ass but anyway let's have a beer uh, one of my favorites actually um, I but I've never reviewed it so we'll talk a little bit about it and the brewery um, and you've probably seen a lot of times I've posted photos of this beer because I do enjoy it so no uh, no spoilers on my review today. <laughs> it ain't gonna be low. But anyway, Derby Tap Out for this special one. As always, I think most of my beer reviews I use the Derby Tap these days. But hey, what the heck? I love this old glass. Special meaning to me. So pouring off of this down the side. There you go. So yeah, hope you're well. Uh, summer is creeping in pretty fast though we're still getting the rains and the storms and it doesn't feel too hot we are getting hot days creeping in though so texas summer is back back with a vengeance so that's why it's nice to get these refreshing ipas and such maybe some ciders going through right and keeping it local as well um like i say i'll get back to some doing some uh beer let me move this chuck is right in the line of vision there, isn't he? In the background. Oi, Chuck. Uh, but anyway, cheers. Let's have a sap and see what we, what's happening here. Nose, very hoppy. Very hoppy, which is what you'd expect from a good hoppy IPA. Extremely bitter on the, the foretaste. But See, there's a smoothness to it, and that's why I like it. If they're really bitter, bitter without that slight smoothness, I wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah, that's nice, it's tasty. And uh, look at the colour. Beautiful, beautiful. It's 6.8%. Um, yeah, and Lone Pint Brewing, which are out of Magnolia, Texas. Um, do you know what? I didn't even look that on the map. Where is Magnolia in Texas? Um, answers on a postcard, please. But yeah, obviously, a state local beer for me today. But 6.2, so it's a little on the stronger side, but not crazy, you know, like the Imperials and such. But yeah. Uh, no more of a gumph on it. I've had these for a while. Uh, we used to, I think, where did I first? I tell you what, the first time I had it, excuse me, just had my dinner as well. <gasps> so, here come the hiccups. Oh, yeah, I should have probably waited a bit longer. Uh, but then the rains might come again. So, um, yeah, I first had it quite a few years ago now. Uh, it's a little beer place called Random out in Burnie. Um, and it's kind of like, um, they have a bar with lots of, lots of different beers on tap. Um, it's not brewery, it's just kind of like an event space, I would call it, or just a, a little, kind of like a beer garden. But then they have food trucks coming in and they have a play area for the kids. It's really nice. And, uh, that's really the first place I tried the Yellow Rose, I believe. And it would have been with the coach himself, uh, trying to think how many years ago. Has to be around six surely um but yeah i loved it from the get-go thoroughly enjoyable oh you taste like there's a woodpecker back there somewhere so yeah very nice beer like i say 6.8 percent um the brewery itself mag it's based lone pint brewery and they're based out of magnolia texas um it's a family-owned texas craft brewery 
that really loves the hops so that's kind of their little go-to thing I'm kind of looking through a lot of their beers they are IPA orientated and they have been going since 2012 so a few years actually the see year my son was born so you know chalk it up but yeah I bought I bought a six pack today and I thought I'd review one for you folks and um, yeah um, very nice very nice pick up my beers from uh, Total Wine normally pick them up for the weekend and I thought I'd get a few of these for the weekend and uh, a few to give to a couple of friends as well but yeah it's, it's a very good sharing beer for sure I would say that and I've shared it many a time many times so yeah check it out if you can and try and pick yourself up a six pack really good beer uh yeah so that's about the brewery i should delve into what other beers they do in a moment let me have another sip it's nice out here today in the meadow it's beautiful um not too hot the grass is uh waving through the windows nice breezes coming through when we first got home today it was like the wind was kind of raging a little bit, so we thought, oh, there's a storm coming through. And look at those clouds. Maybe we still will get a bit of a storm coming through. It has been a rainy spring, fair play. And it, I mean, it's good for the ground. We do need it here in the hot Texas. So yeah, it's nice. And I'm sitting out and making the most of it as much as I can before the hot, hot weather's come in. And my family are coming in uh, in a few weeks' time, so, you know, just as probably the heat hits. Uh, so I don't know how I'll do on these beer reviews, but, you know, we'll probably go to some breweries and I'll do some mini reviews there. So look out for those. What a treat. Uh, I need the break. Anyway, so, yeah, um, a few other beers that uh, Lone Pint do. Excuse me, some of their signature ones. They do an Imperial IPA, and I've had it before, it's very nice. It's called the Jabberwocky. Isn't it? I think there's a poem about that, the Jabberwocky. I f yeah, I remember it. It scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. Um, there's also, and I like this as well, go past the name, it's called Gentleman's Relish, if you catch my drift. Uh, <laughs> so, Gentleman's Relish Nitro. And it's a brown ale. I wouldn't call that the colour of gentleman's relish, but there you go. <laughs> uh, so there's that. It is a good beer, actually. They have... I haven't had this. It's a porter, and it's called Undead Head Ed. That's a tongue twister, if ever I heard one. So, one to check out. And if and they also do a Zeno's Pale Ale. And I do enjoy a pale ale, to be fair. Look at that sky behind. Isn't that cool? Uh, so yeah, there's a few beers. Can you hear the... Um, not cicadas. Oh, maybe. Yeah, they are the cicadas. We're getting the K-diddies coming through right now as well. So lots of those. But that noise is the cicadas. So we're getting to that time of year, folks. Um, yeah, so check uh, Lone Pint Brewing out if you can. Really good. Uh, and especially um, Yellow Rose. Yellow Rose of Texas. So check that out if you can get yourself get yourself a six pack. Have a treat this weekend. Pop down to your specs or your total wines and get get yourself one. Um and enjoy. So yeah. Uh do you know what? It's an absolute solid 10 for me, the Texas Taff. It is one of my favourite beers. I actually, here's a little story for you. I would, when it came in bottles, you're only getting it in cans now. When it came in bottles, I used to take it back to Blighty, back home to Britain. And I would have Yellow Rose with my fish and chip supper. So down the fish and chip shop, bottle of Yellow Rose, bring it home. Oh, it works so well with fish and chips, really. So if you get a chance, try and do that. But anyway, that's how I used to drink it for a little while. And uh on my trips back to Wales, I used to take a few bottles. So maybe if you get some fish and chips, have yourself a yellow rose. And until next time, cheers.